Franchises are a major part of Hollywood's DNA, and several high-profile sequels come out every year. Some audiences may wish for the studios to produce more original content, but everyone has a favorite film series that they enjoy visiting over and over again. There are plenty of movies that show so much potential that a full franchise seems like a no-brainer. But when follow-ups fall through the cracks, it really leaves movie fans wondering what could have been. Here are Screen Rant's 10 Most Wanted Movie Sequels. Spaceballs With Star Wars set to be a major player in the industry once more, it's the perfect time to bring back Mel Brooks' classic spoof. Unlike certain filmmakers in this genre, Brooks understood how to make a spoof hilarious. Spaceballs featured memorable characters like Dark Helmet and Yogurt. I'm just plain yogurt. It had quotable lines of dialogue and tons of funny jokes. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. One, two, three, four, five. That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life. That's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage. Thanks to movies like Epic Movie and Meet the Spartans, modern audiences view spoofs in a negative light. But Brooks could easily revitalize the genre by poking fun at the new Star Wars films and the many sci-fi classics that have come out since the original. May the Schwartz be with us. Daredevil. The Man Without Fear looked to capitalize on the blossoming popularity of the superhero movie in 2003 with a film adaptation starring Ben Affleck. Daredevil was received poorly by critics and audiences, which foiled any chance of a sequel. Fox even attempted to organize a reboot a few times, but nothing ever came to fruition. It's a shame, because the Daredevil world is so rich and full of fascinating characters that make for a good watch. The Netflix series has proven that it is possible to get the hero right on screen, so maybe Matt Murdock will be making a return to theaters sometime in the future. Inception Even though it was just a standalone film, Christopher Nolan's dream-based heist thriller set up an interesting world with unique concepts that seemed to open doors for a sequel. The nature of an extractor's job makes it easy to justify follow-ups, since each installment could follow a band of high-class criminals as they move on various targets. Yes, Cobb did say Inception was his last job, but that hasn't stopped Hollywood before. And even if it did, we'd settle for a prequel exploring Cobb and Maul's relationship before her death. We're willing to bet a few moviegoers would as well. Constantine As Warner Brothers looks to expand their shared DC cinematic universe, one project looking to get off the ground is Justice League Dark, which would be great news for Constantine. Smile pretty, big prick. Okay, so the 2005 film starring Keanu Reeves and the NBC TV show never really took off. But Constantine is still a fan favorite in the comic book crowd, and has a deep enough mythology to warrant a full franchise on the big screen. Constantine has 300 comics in publication, and a plethora of supernatural villains to do battle with, meaning this expansive world should be explored at least a couple more times. Beetlejuice Thanks to his Oscar-nominated role in Birdman, Michael Keaton has revitalized his career. Looks like I'm next! <laughs> With Tim Burton constantly talking about the possibilities of a Beetlejuice 2, now's a better time than ever to move forward with this sequel. The original earned a dedicated following thanks to its bizarre sense of humor and creativity that made it stand out from the crowd. Wow! Yo! I got demons running all through me! And it would be great to see Keaton play his classic part again, but this time with a meteor role. Who knows where the story might go, but we don't think he'll be hitting the Hawaiian beaches anytime soon. Shall we? The Goonies Rumors of a sequel have been circulating for years, but nothing has actually been produced yet and it's hard to see why. The story of a group of kids outrunning dangerous criminals and searching for lost treasure, all in the name of helping their families, is something that could definitely be told more than once. Like so many entries on our list, the Goonies have several memorable characters we'd like to see again, including Chunk and Sloth. How'd he get out? Save him! Save him and death! It's true that the actors from the original have all grown up, but it would still be a blast to see adult versions of Mikey and his gang come back together to go on another wild adventure. Gremlins. A sequel to this classic dark comedy was made, but Gremlins is a brand that deserves a full trilogy, especially since Gremlins 2 was a little underwhelming. As long as the filmmakers stuck with the original practical effects instead of needless CGI, audiences would get a kick out of watching Gizmo do battle with stripes again. Plus, its Christmas setting makes it one of the easiest properties to revisit. With a remake on the way, maybe the Mogwai will be able to seize this opportunity to become a sustained series in the age of long-running horror movie franchises. Zombieland. Thanks to the success of The Walking Dead and World War Z, interest in the undead is at an all-time high. 
so it's a little surprising that this 2009 action comedy never got a sequel, despite there being so much potential. The film sports a memorable cast of characters, with instant favorites like Tallahassee, Columbus, Wichita, and Little Rock trying to survive in the zombie-infested world they live in. Zombieland felt like the beginning of something, and it gives us the feeling that characters have more stories to tell us. With the Amazon streaming series not getting past pilot, maybe someone can finally give this film a proper follow-up. Jumanji Even with the tragic loss of Robin Williams in 2014, audiences would still like to see a sequel to this fantasy adventure film that captured imaginations everywhere back in 1995. The story threw a board game's players right in the middle of the action, forcing them to dodge obstacles like giant bees, safari hunters, and carnivorous plants to create exciting and engrossing action sequences. The original even ended with the tease of a follow-up, showing two young girls discovering the game on a beach, so the intention was always there for there to be at least one more film. Fight Club Based on its ending, you'd think there'd be no threads to pick up in a Fight Club 2. The narrator and Marla seemed ready to move on to the next stage in life. But that very premise has the potential to make for a very interesting film, and is already taking shape in a comic book series from the book's author Chuck Palahniuk. All the ways you wish you could be, that's me, Tyler Durden. Told from the perspective of Tyler Durden yearning to be unleashed, it centers on the narrator trying to adjust to married life with Marla and dealing with middle-aged suburban boredom. It's not the most original concept, but who would pass up the opportunity to see Fight Club's talented cast and memorable characters back at it? Those are our picks for the 10 most wanted movie sequels. Are there any we missed? Which film franchises do you want to see continue? Sound off in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.